My name is Shanti Abelia. Um, during the day I have a full-time job working in one of Denmark's biggest pharmaceutical companies and in the evenings when I get off work I come down here, I turn myself into a white ninja and I spend a lot of hours training in Denmark's best uh, BJJ club. Um, it was my first time at, the, at that venue in, in Vegas and it was a really special, um, special atmosphere in there. It's this mixture of uh, people who a lot of people know each other, a lot of the competitors know each other, so we're on friendly terms and the atmosphere is always good and people are joking around with their teammates, some people even joke around with their opponents at least after the fights. And at the same time this is a world championship so it's really hard competition. There's a lot of adrenaline in the air, everyone's nervous, you know, you see people going off the mats either crying of joy or crying from having lost and a lot of emotions in, uh, in the air and, uh, and really exciting. Um, all, my, all my fights were super tough, none, none of it was easy. I was very confident going into this tournament and very confident stepping on the mats that I would be able to, to win each fight, but even though you're confident that's not always enough because Everyone else is well prepared, everyone is usually as, uh, as confident as yourself. So it's all about what happens during those uh, six minutes on the, on the mat, during the match. Um, one of the matches I, uh, I got ahead fairly fast, not very fast, but I, everything went according to plan until uh, the last couple of minutes where she, she put me into a bad position and I had to sit there and uh, defend it until the rest of the time went. Um, to the time ran out, but luckily everything worked out and I won that fight. Um, after I'd won the, my weight division, uh, I think it was maybe already 2 o'clock, no, 3 o'clock in the, in the afternoon. And at that point I'd, I started warming up already at 11.30 in the morning and had kept myself warm for quite a long time because sometimes you, know, you never know exactly when you're going to be on the mat. Sometimes delays happen, and there were delays that day, so I stood around maybe for an hour, hour and a half. And that's one of the toughest parts is you have to keep your body warm, you have to keep yourself mentally prepared that you could be called in to fight at any minute. But at the same time, if you keep that adrenaline up and if you keep yourself you know, too much up there, for an hour and a half, you're just gonna, you know, drain all your energy at once. So that's a that's a tricky balance I always have to find on the day. Um, I'm pretty consistent in my training. A lot of people in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu they uh, always do like these big training camps up to the big com competitions where they intensify their training, where they maybe train two, three, four passes a day. Uh, I don't I don't have the time for that because I have a full-time job so the key for, for my success has always been consistent has always been you know doing jiu-jitsu or doing some physical uh, conditioning every day usually jiu-jitsu three four times a week I will build that up to five times or so five six passes um, up to competitions and then some strength and conditioning at the CrossFit gym two, two to three times a week It feels good. It's the sound of uh, many years of hard work, a lot of hard work. <laughs>